Hey guys, on this episode of Nev's Garage, we're going to be doing some further modifications on my sliding table or milling vise. Now you probably recognise this sliding table from one of uh, my other videos where we actually modified the orientation of the vise so that it was correct on the drill press, so it was a lot easier to use. Now if you missed that video, your totes should go and watch it because it's a really helpful hack and it's going to make your life a lot easier when it comes to using this sliding table. Now the reason I really love my sliding table on my drill press is because when I have a workpiece in here I don't have to keep moving it and reclamping the vise when I want to drill holes in it. I just clamp it once and then I can just move the workpiece to reposition for the next holes. So I don't actually use it to mill. Okay, now with that in mind, the modification I'm going to perform today is I'm going to get rid of this floppy vice handle. Okay, the reason for that is when I've got a workpiece in there, this for example, it gets in the way. Of my axis knob. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this and I'm going to replace it with an old 3.8 socket extension and I might even put a hex nut on there as well. All right. So to do that we're just going to take out the vice clamping thread. Now to do that all we need to do is undo the scrub screw. Alright, so we're just whipping it out. Right, don't lose it obviously. <coughs> and then this will just wind out. Like that. So this is going to be super easy to remove. All we need to do is just knock these flares off the end of this pin and take it out. Alright, let's do it. Alrighty, so once you uh, once you knock the little pin out, the little floppy handle just comes free of the Acme thread, right? So I've got my old 3A extension and chopped it into a key to fit in there and chamfered all the edges. So now I'm going to put this hex nut on there, weld it and then weld this onto there like that. Alright. Okay, so there it is, it's all welded up, so now I'm going to go and tidy it up and make it look all pretty. Alright guys, well there it is, it's got the end welded on now and the nut, which is all smooth and it just painted in a textured silver. Rightio. So you can see there that we're going to now be able to use a 19mm socket on it, a 19mm ring spanner or an open spanner. Or we're going to be able to use our, you know, ratchet on it. Righto. So, it's going to make it a lot easier to use now. So, uh, let's reassemble it and actually try it out. So, when it comes to vice slides 
and things like that. The best lubricant to use on them is WD-40 because it doesn't really have many residual properties. It doesn't stay sticky. Um, obviously anything sticky or tacky on engineering equipment is going to attract swarf and shavings and we want to try and avoid that. So before we put the thread back on we're just going to lube up the slide here of the vise with WD-40 <clears throat> and most of that is just going to evaporate right so that's why it's not going to stay tacky. Um, obviously lubricate the bed as well alright I'm going to spray some down on the axis thread as well and in on the, the bush as well alright so before we put this thread back in we are going to put some grease on the end bush in there um, because that's never exposed to any swarf or anything so I'm going to make sure that's nice and lubricated so I'm going to put a nice amount of grease up inside that bush wipe off any excess also going to put some on the end of the shaft like this okay all right, groovy. Now I'm going to lubricate the thread in the casting and the thread on the clamp bolt. Now we're going to thread it back into the vise. Okay. And there we go. You see the excess grease coming out there like a worm, a Vegemite and a Jats cracker. So we're just going to wipe that off. And that is where our grub screw goes. I'll screw it down tight and then back it off half a turn so that it's able to pivot. Alright, and that feels really nice. Cool. I'm just going to wipe that excess grease off there so there's none actually exposed to any swarf or anything like that. Oh, okay, that feels great. It feels nice and smooth. Very good. Okay, so you can see now because we don't have a floppy little handle here, our axis knob clears it all the time. See that? So no matter where this is, we can adjust it, tighten it up. Happy days. All right guys, so let's see how our clamping bolt works now in relation to our axis knob. And also, while we're doing that, I'm going to demonstrate how well this sliding table works on the drill press. Not for machining, but for just holding the workpiece and not having to keep reclamp it when we're drilling more holes. Okay? Alright, so here we go. Let's put our workpiece in there.
guys. <clears throat> so you can see there, I didn't have to reclamp my workpiece once. So I drilled all these holes without stopping, reclamping this, having to line it up with the two axis sliding table. It cuts my time down and it also ups my accuracy a lot when I'm working with uh, the drill press. So I'm just going to take it out now and uh, There it is. I reckon Disco Stu would be proud. So I guess that's it guys. That's another great easy way to improve your cheap Chinese sliding vise. Now if you haven't seen my other hack where we change the orientation of the vise, make sure you head on over to that video. The link's in the comments of course. Uh, because that is a really, really useful hack. Um, make sure you check that out. Anyway, that's it for this episode of uh, Nev's Garage. Thank you for liking, sharing and subscribing. See you next time.